welcome back. I guess I start all my videos out that way, but I'm glad to have you back to my studio and to watch what I'm doing today. I'm working on starting these, filling these flower pots, planting flowers. So we're going to start first with the snapdragons. I'm going to have snapdragons and nasturtiums in these two pots. This pot's going to have some daisies and some sweet potato vine dangling down. But my, my uh, snapdragons, this is mixtures of magenta plus white. I have a couple of shades here. And I just, using my bright brush, it's a square brush, I can just use the corner of the brush to form those flowers. These are painting over the olive trees in the background. I have an olive grove back there. And it's that, that paint is totally dry. So I can do these flowers in here. And that soft gray-green behind them just makes the color of this magenta even more vibrant. See how I can use the corner of that brush. It just makes that those smaller, smaller brush strokes. Brushes are very individual. I prefer the bright brushes for the majority of, of everything I do. Some people prefer flats, some people prefer filberts. It's just it's an individual preferences. It's we're all different. Artists paint differently. You can give us all the same materials and we're going to come out with different paintings. And that's just the joy of being an artist. And that's another reason why it's so wonderful to share with each other, share techniques, share methods. That's why I do this blog. Because nobody's going to paint exactly like I do. We all paint differently. We all see the world differently. And so that's, you know, that's... Let's share. There's no need to hoard your ideas or how you do things. Because even if, if somebody has the same information you do, the same reference material, their painting's going to be different. Now I'm going to start working with a smaller brush for the foliage. And my foliage is mixes of my phthalo blue plus a little bit of uh, white. And then I've got some cadmium orange in there. Again, this, you can see with this smaller brush, I can use the edge of it to make longer, finer, longer brush strokes. And I just paint in around my flower color. I want these to break up over the trees in the background. Now I'm going to start putting some of my nasturtiums in. Now these are mixtures of cadmium red light plus alizarin crimson, cadmium orange plus alizarin crimson, and just cadmium orange. These are, I love nasturtiums, they just love their round leaves and the way the flowers drape. And again, I can use that corner of the brush to make my finer strokes. Now I'm going to let these cascade down out of this flower pot. They're going to kind of go around the back of that back edge of that pot. Some will come down here in front. But they're going to break that long wall there. And they're going to come out over our vineyard and just add interest here, add color, help to break all of that green. Paint on my vines is pretty textured, so I have to put some heavy brush strokes here to get my, my blossoms in there. But I just want to break the edge of that wall, give some color here. Now my wall is, I just painted it yes in my last session, so uh, it's It's a little bit 
wet so I can kind of bring some of these flowers down and over that without having to fight that texture. I have to be careful. See how when I put that color back up over that foliage, I picked up some of the green on my brush. So I have to be very careful and keep wiping my brush. I want to keep my brush clean so that my flower color stays really bright and crisp. So I pull from the blank card part of the canvas up into the foliage and that also helps me to keep my, my color clean. Once I get out here, I can start getting a little more. I don't have to be quite as deliberate with my brush strokes. I want some of these flowers to come up here. Again, I'm picking up some of that foliage color from the snapdragons, so I have to be careful with that. These flowers come up. Oops, picked up my wrong color. Now what I can do is I can just scrape that off with my painting knife. And that's In there. I'm going to start putting some of the nasturtium leaves in here. Now they're mixes of phthalo blue plus cadmium yellow medium plus some cadmium orange. So it's a warmer green. You can really see it in the lighter shades. And the, and the leaves of the nasturtiums are round. So I can take the corner of my brush and twist it and make those round leaves. See how that works? Up here's a lighter. You can just see how that, those leaves just, it's real easy to make with that square brush. You just twist it. Take some practice, but you can, you can certainly do it. These are wonderful flowers. They have such a nice fragrance. A lot of people put them in salads, the blossoms, and actually eat them. I've never eaten any, but I've seen pictures of them in salads. I just carefully work around my oranges. Now my brush picks up some of the orange, but it really doesn't matter while I'm painting the green, because if the green gets a little muted, that, that's okay. I just don't want the flower color to get muted from, from pulling some of the green into it. Also bring in a little bit of this is phthalo blue plus liquid. Just kind of gives me a nice cool dark in the recesses of the, the flowers in between the leaves. And now I'm not going to finish all these flowers yet. I want to show you what I do now on the nasturtiums. They have a dark center. And so I'm using a mixture of my magenta plus a little bit of liquid. And I'll just come back in and put the centers of those flowers in. Now this is not a bright brush. This is called a round. This is a number four 
and this just comes to a nice point and I can add the centers in these Just, I'll come back and highlight some of those leaves where the sun's really catching them. But this kind of gets me established where my individual flowers are. And let's put a few little buds out there. I use reference. People ask me, do I make up my flowers? And definitely not. I have lots of photos and digital files of flowers anywhere I am. If I see some flowers that I like that would make good subjects, I go ahead and take a picture of them. And then I have a folder of just flowers. And I have them all delineated out. Snapdragons, sunflowers, nasturtiums, orchids, daylilies. Just, I have a file for each kind of flower and I may have 20, 30 different images of each flower, but that gives me the reference material. When I want to paint any of them, then I have, I have my flowers right there. When things are blooming in my garden, like I have some irises that are just about ready to bloom, then I, if I find a really spectacular one, then I go out and get a picture of it. Now I'm going to highlight these nasturtiums with, this is cadmium orange, and these are the ones catching the sun. You add a little bit of cadmium yellow into that to just make it a little bit lighter and brighter. Okay, so this is a mixture of my cadmium orange plus a little bit of cadmium yellow plus a tiny, tiny bit of white. But this just gives me a little lighter shade. And this is where the sun is catching. Again, this is, I just lay that color on there. Because if I'm not careful, I'll pick up the color underneath and then this gets muddy. Again, this is a bright brush, it's a smaller one. This gives me, that sun is just dancing on those little, soft little petals of the nasturtium. And they just drape all the way down. As the nasturtiums go over the pot, then they become darker. They don't get as much light. But these on this side get quite a bit of light. Now I want to show you how I do the little vines coming down. And that's just, uh, this is again, is a, just a fine brush. I may need to make this darker so we can see it against that wall. It's easy to pull into the wet paint of that wall. It's going to be harder over these, these vines because they're already dry. But anyway, that's how I paint the nasturtiums and the snapdragons. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. And please visit my blog. You'll see the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting. Just The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame. 
And on my blog, you'll see the entire process. So you can go to that, go back to the very beginning, and you can see the sketch and everything, how this painting came together. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and happy painting.